Hey, Dr. Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And uh, this week's learning for me has been about divine truth and being flexible around that. So what do I mean? Well, when I grew up as a young child, um, I was very inflexible. I mean, physically, I was flexible. I could do back bends and cartwheels. Well, I can still do those. But, um, <laughs> you know, like um, the splits, you know. And my mind, my, my, my um, thinking, my attitude, um, beliefs, uh, not so flexible. Now, my mother blames herself for raising me according to the advice from a baby book called, uh, by Dr. Spock. I don't know if uh, you are old enough to remember that book. In Canada, it was very popular to raise your children with this Dr. Spock book. So apparently, according to my mom, my inflexible thinking had to do with her raising me according to that book. <laughs> uh, and it was sort of like, if you promised a child something, you darn well tootin' better give that child what you promised, you know, don't go back in your promises, and so on and so forth. But I think there was something about my nature, is like I, as a child, really craved security, um, craved knowing clear-cut like good versus evil, you know, um, right versus wrong. And so I tended to really be polarized into one camp and very inflexible about that, you know. Um, and I think that I've been healing that over the last several decades, especially since my own illness back in my early 30s with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue sy syndrome, autoimmune disease, so on and so forth, and, and having healed that and continue healing uh, both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etc. That uh, I have become more flexible in my thinking and more flexible in my beliefs. In fact, a lot of people, you know, uh, who've been following me for a while uh, remember me saying things like, This is my current understanding, you know, meaning my current beliefs based on available information, right? And that can change tomorrow, <laughs> meaning that my beliefs and, and thoughts can change tomorrow based on new evidence. And I think that in this day and age of things happening quickly and, and things shifting quickly, that if we are not flexible in our attitudes and our beliefs, um, then I think that we're in trouble. We're in trouble because we are going to be staunchly held against this one polarity and everything else that's uncomfortable, you know, it makes us immovable. And then and then we can really be stressed out because we will not adapt. And, you know, there is a saying, I can't remember who said this, you can probably tell me, <laughs> adapt or die. You know, it was a saying, adapt or die. And so for us to be adaptable also means being able to be open to new information and new truth. So this week I'm talking about divine truth. And how this came about was that I was working with a client and uh, I, you know, I divine muscle test. She's learned to divine muscle test very accurately, very well. And we were getting two different answers on the same issue. And of course, I mean, there is an art to it, so it's possible that one of us could have been wrong and so on and so forth. But we checked that. And in this case, we were both right. So I was like, okay, I think the divine is trying to teach us something, right? How could we be both right and have the truth, but have two different answers for the same question? So there was the conundrum. But we were able to get to why that was happening and i don't know that it blew my mind so i may blow your mind in a good way uh when i share it with you what we we figured out so what we figured out was the divine truth which i i don't know just assumed was immovable and immutable and it would never change it's whatever is divine truth always stays the same it's always true okay that was i mean maybe you're laughing because that's not how you feel it but that's that's how i kind of sensed it Despite my increased flexibility in my thinking, okay, I just had this assumption that divine truth, divine truth is not going to change. But in this case, I was being taught, we were being taught. No, not really. <laughs> I was like, okay, how, how can that be? Well, get this. 
If you joined me on the Divine Design Training uh, or you listened to, in April, my interview with uh, Darius on You Wealth Revolution, we talked about quantum jumping, quantum jumping from one current non-ideal reality to the future ideal reality. When we do this, we literally are co-creating, well actually have created, and it's like almost complete, um, that ideal future reality. What's the ideal future reality? That is the one where we are all in a space um, and living on a planet together with joy, peace, love, harmony, abundance, prosperity for all. Yeah, I know that sounds like a tall order, but um, if you knew everything I knew, <laughs> it actually isn't. Now, it doesn't mean it's necessarily overnight, but we can switch to that new reality in an instant through our energy, attention, awareness, and intention. So in that program, we did some quantum jumping, so share, showing people how to do that. And, and I will be, you know, um, talking and, and we'll be actually doing it at the Light Warrior Training Camp. I'll talk about that in a moment. So why my client and I were getting different answers, but were both true, was because we were divine muscle testing from a different quantum perspective, different quantum perspective reality so if our attention or the maximal of our attention is in one particular quantum reality whether that be in the ideal uh, future new reality or the non-ideal current reality the divine truth can be different in those two realities and we're not talking about alternate timelines here we're not talking about past lives we're not talking about parallel timelines no no no, no. this is completely a different infiniverse if you will infiniverse is everything that's manifest Okay, from, from the void, from the singularity, from the zero point. So the everything in that reality can test different from everything in another reality. And remember, we're not talking about parallel timelines. So that is very interesting to me. And that was a new awareness. I really didn't think divine truth really changed all that much, you know, but it's possible to have it different based on where you are perceiving from. If your attention in that moment is resonating with your ideal future reality, you may test, divine muscle test, an answer to a question that is different from the answer you get when in when you are your attention and your resonance is in your non-ideal current reality. There are many things that you and I share in the current reality that we all know that we don't like, right? But there's also many things in the future ideal reality that we know we all want. So whether you're on one side of the political spectrum or the other, or one side of the health spectrum or jab spectrum, whatever you want to call it, or the other, we actually kind of want the same thing. <laughs> so it behooves us to really make sure that our attention and intention is more on that ideal future reality and not as much on the current reality, right? Ideal future reality, current reality, right? We want to be attentive and aware of these things. So, so maybe we can argue less, <laughs> you know, about who's right and who's wrong because even divine truth changes depending on which quantum perspective your consciousness is coming from. So maybe we can become even more compassionate, more flexible, more open, more curious, moment to moment. And I think that's really going to help the entire collective. So if you would like to do this Topogan Healing activation with me, I'm going to be doing a Topogan Healing Directive. If you would like to receive this light medicine, energy healing, um, you can just make the internal intention to receive. Um, I will go ahead and say the directive. And then what I'd love for you to do if you'd like to receive this, and this is all about um, connecting with um, and intuiting through divine truth, whatever is for, get this, your highest and greatest good in alignment with your spiritual evolution, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and 
read off the directive. You feel your body. Okay, feel the energy in your body. You may close your eyes if you'd like and really, you know, um, notice what's going on. And you may not notice anything, but just focus on the inside of your body and focus what that feels like because that brings all your energy circuits into the present moment. That's where you can heal. You cannot heal if you are not here <laughs> in the moment. So as you pay attention to that, I'll go ahead and do the directive and then I'd love for you to comment afterwards um, below or near this video about what that felt like in your body. That'd be fantastic. Oh, here we go. So you can close your eyes if you would like. I now command that you be able to intuit and connect with divine truth, whatever is in alignment with your spiritual evolution in this and all other timelines in the highest and best way, all directions of time, with ease, speed, and grace. Thank you. Let me say it one more time and do it slightly different. I now command that you be fully able to intuit and connect with divine truth at all times, whatever that is in alignment with your spiritual evolution in any moment, the highest and best way, all directions of time and all timelines where you exist with ease, speed, and grace now. Thank you. So you can take a little breath, open your eyes. If you had your eyes closed, please post in the comments what that felt like in the body. Maybe if you have an emotional reaction, you know, you can definitely post that as well. I'd really appreciate it. So that's uh, that's that's the share for this week. I, I don't know about you, but it was pretty profound for me. Um, and yeah, does it help me become more flexible and open in my thinking and my attitudes and my beliefs? Absolutely. And I think that was the point that was the teaching from source to me that I'm passing on to you. So see if it, see if it resonates. Maybe it doesn't, you know, or it doesn't matter at the time, but then, that, and that's okay too. So a couple of announcements. Uh, number one is registration and enrollment is, uh, open for the light warrior training camp. It is this year a virtual immersion, four days, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, um, a week apart. So it starts July 24th and then goes from July 25th, 31st, and August 1st. So this is on the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to be interactive. So it's not just me le lecturing at you, okay? You are going to actually perform and do the work with my assistants and, and with little mini healings and whatever is necessary in order for you to feel good about the skill sets that you're learning. So what are you going to be learning? Well, if you have a copy of my Sensitivity is Your Superpower book, you're actually going to be learning the skills in the books. One thing to read a book and go, oh, that's nice, right? And another thing to actually be able to do those things, especially with guidance, it can really be helpful. So we're going to work, be working on things like weather magic, transformational telepathy, healing by proxy prop, the nirvana of no, um, uh, uh, intuitive impressioning and all these different skill sets that we talk about in the book divine muscle testing right super super handy especially these days to help you with your discernment so if you would like some help uh, in getting these skills and um, growing with these skills so that you can really harness your sensitivities into superpowers then you definitely want to join me here so lightwarriortrainingcamp.com I'll also put the link uh, in the, um, the video description. The cool thing is that we are at the early bird stage right now. So it's $50 off of the training. So normally it's 497 for the immersion. And right now it's 447. Um, and that will go through uh, until I think uh, July 7th or something like that <laughs> when it ends. So definitely register now. There are limited spaces because I want to make sure that everybody gets the attention that they need. OK, so there's not going to be a thousand people on on this training. So we are going to limit the spot. So definitely if you're interested, book now. Um, one of the questions that comes up is, um, will I be able to do this again next year? And the answer is, I don't know. The reason is because this is actually a live event, live and in-person event. And yes, I know the cost is much more when it's live and in-person. Um, and, uh, you know, um, I really loved, you know, doing variations of this over the years. But because of the pandemic, 
the one last year was canceled. And uh, so this is the first that we're doing that is online, but I really, really would love to do it in person again, because it's just so fun. It's so amazing to just physically be with people um, and feel their energy and do work with them in person. So although we're going to have tons of fun um, this year, I cannot promise that I'm going to do it virtually again. Um, so next time it may very well be you need to travel, you know, to, to do this work with me. Um, so yeah, so I can't answer that question. The other question that comes up is, um, is it going to be recorded? Uh, now because it is uh, virtual, it's very easy to record. So yes, we are going to record it and the people that come and register and come to um, the, the training are going to have access to that recording for a number of months. I think it's going to be three months afterwards where you can just, you know, connect and, you know, um, you know, continue that, um, you know, reminding yourself that kind of thing. We definitely want people to come live if you can come live because that gives me the chance to give you personal uh, coaching and mentoring and, you know, interacting with your fellow students, right? Because that's really, really powerful. It's one thing to sit at home and go, well, I guess I'll do this healing on myself, right? And another thing to be able to actually do the healing on the other person, and get feedback. Yeah, you know, that sounds maybe a little scary for some folks, but I'm going to be there. Right? We're going to help you through that. You're having trouble, you know, muscle testing, you're frustrated about that. We're going to help you with that. Okay, so everybody that came to camp, even if they were struggling with muscle testing for years, was able to do that really well. And they, we, we tweaked it, you know, we found little things that really helped them. So they were able to do that after the camp. And that was so, so awesome. So this, again, the camp is $50 off for now. Uh, early bird. Uh, we will close the cart when we have, um, you know, the, the number of students uh, that we um, are looking for. Um, so definitely, if you're interested in, uh, please, please register now. And uh, it's automatic button uh, that uh, early bird savings. Um, and then when that um, July 7th date comes, that price will automatically go up. And by the way, in case you are a student uh, in the International Academy of, of um, Universal Self Mastery, I awesome. Then, um, if you're part of my group, Sensitivity is Your Superpower, which is free to join within I Awesome, then you get an extra savings. It's a, an extra hundred dollars. It's a specific coupon code that you need to use. So when you click on the cart, make sure you put that coupon code in and click the button, uh, and then it'll take a hundred dollars off even the early bird price. Um, so yeah, so if you're you know into the I awesome with me, definitely uh, take advantage of the extra savings for sure. Um, speaking of I awesome, the other announcement is uh, July 10th, 11th, the summer launch party is coming up. So we're relaunching the website. I'm faculty at that school. We're really excited about that. We have about 30 faculty who are going to present uh, over um, Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be interactive. It's going to be super fun. I'll be live on Sunday uh, for my piece there. And that is free. That is free. You don't have to be a student there. You can just check it out, you know, um, see if you like it uh, before you join, if you're hesitant about joining another school. Uh, so that summer launch party link uh, I will put near this video as well. So you can sign up for that. Again, that is absolutely free. And uh, Monday's radio show, Light War Radio, is with Guy Fidley. And he is a sweetheart. He is... Uh, author of The Secret of Letting Go and his new book called Relationship Magic Waking Up Together. I just got this in the mail. So excited. So uh, we are going to be talking about that. And uh, wow, we could really use that right now, right in the world. Relationship magic, waking up together, uh, because they have, there's been a lot of um, conflict, if you will, uh, related to whatever's going on in the world and uh, related to, you know, what, you know, so we could really use some help in coaching. So if you have a relationship you would like to work on, you want advice on, you know, whatever it is, please call in live because it's going to be a live show on Monday at 12 noon Eastern. I'll put the link to the show here. But if you call in live, raise your hand, then Guy can do some expert mentoring for you okay he's a multi best-selling author big wig guy you know <laughs> and it's like get some free mentoring right on the show so unless your you know relationships are perfectly pristine I don't know anybody's that is but you know you know and you don't need help fine you know don't listen to the show but <laughs> but if you feel like hey my I, I would love to have my relationships even better than it is right now then yeah I would highly recommend you do the show if you can live there of course is always a replay on the podcast uh, but it's going to be 
really nice and really fun. It'll be really great to get back together again with Guy because it's been a, a long time since uh, since we chatted. Uh, last announcement for this week is that, um, uh, wow, there's a lot of things going on in July. Um, <laughs> Starting July 1st, uh, we, uh, you know, the, the light warriors here, um, we're doing a 21 day Ascension 3 light medicine challenge. So what is that? Well, Ascension 3 is my jewelry line. You can go to ascension3.net to check it out. So my jewelry line, we also have pyramids um, and these kind of go like hotcakes because they're this is the only one that's super strong energy, healing energy. So they're energy infused pieces that have my Topican healing frequencies in it, including everything that's in Ascension 1, Ascension 2. This is from one of my training camps um, that's online, Light Warrior Bootcamp. So Ascension 1 clears negative energy of all types. Ascension 2 downloads positive energies and positive morphic fields and blueprints. So Ascension 3 has both infused. For whatever reason, you can't do that on an MP3. It's just not high enough vibration, I guess, that format. But um, with these other pieces, we can infuse both in there. So you can use your piece like a magic wand. So people have asked me all sorts of questions. How do I use it for this? How do I use it for that? And, and even though their instructions are kind of vague. So what we're going to be doing is a 21-day challenge where every day I'm going to release a new video, really short video, just sharing with you how you can heal a specific thing in your life. Uh, with the Ascension 3 and that'll give you some ideas and get your creativity going on how you can use it because yeah it'll protect you while you have it on you don't have to tell it anything but if you knew what you could tell it uh, things happen much faster and uh, you can direct you know be the director of your life and be the director of your healing right so um, that's why I'm gonna do the 21 day challenge now Speaking of challenges, we did have some challenges related to Ascension 3, and here are the challenges. Number one, Swarovski Crystal, that um, company is no longer making most of the crystals, well, yeah, all of the crystals that I like and love and um, that we've made our jewelry from. So we've had to kind of scramble a little bit um, and see if I feel like a crystal hoarder. So <laughs> uh, scramble a little bit so that um, I can grab whatever is left. So, you know, my team's looking at different places, you know, we're, we're trying to grab up the crystals that we do like because they're not going to make them anymore. And um, so we have several new things at the store because those are the crystals I can get and I couldn't get the other ones I used to have. Um, so that's a little bit of a challenge. The second challenge is that now that we have so many different products, uh, fulfillment has been interesting um, and challenging and uh, yeah. So uh, we are going to switch the way we do things just so our team doesn't, you know, go a little nutty uh, <laughs> during these promotions. So what we're going to do in the future, now we're now we too late for the 21 day challenge, we'll keep the store open. But what we're going to be doing is only opening the store one week of each month so we can get a handle on it, right? People want to order stuff, they have to order it in that week you know, we can go ahead and fulfill the following week and then we're done for that month, right? Because there's there's new stuff coming in, you know, we have to switch 80%, 80% of the jewelry that we had before because Swarovski is not making those crystals anymore. So there's all this new inventory, you know, changing it up, changing materials, changing vendors. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. So, um, you know, I just wanted to let you know that that's what's gonna happen in the near future. We're only gonna be open one week of the month going forward after this challenge so that my team can, you know, get a handle on things because we're going to be introducing new products because we're, we're not going to be able to make some of the products that we did before. So if you do not have Ascension 3 and you would like to be part of this challenge, now it is going to be recorded, so you can always go back to it and do your own challenge, right? It's always happy and fun when we do it together. Um, definitely you want to, you know, Order it ASAP because <laughs> uh, it takes about a week if you're in, you know, uh, Canada, North America, you know, to, to get your piece. And then you can join us for the challenge. If you join us part way, that's still fine. Not a big deal. You're still going to learn. We're, we're going to keep these as a free series. Um, you don't have to pay for it. Um, you can register for it. And then when you get your piece, you can, you know, go ahead and start whenever you want. Um, so you can learn more how to do, um, you know, self-healing and self-directing with the healing energies using this assistive tool, Ascension 3. And uh, like I said, you can go to ascension3.net uh, to check out what we have in stock right now. And like I said, later on after the 21 day challenge, we will be closing the store. 
um, and then only reopening one week out of the month, um, which I think it's going to work really well. <laughs> it's really strange, but really well. Because, you know, that's not my main business, right? <laughs> you know, it's like a side business. It's there to have the tools to help people, my tribe. Like, we don't want to, like, do Facebook ads and, like, have all these people I don't know, like, buy it. It's really for, like, for, like my tribe, right? Because you guys get it. You guys understand light medicine. You get it. Um, you, you know that, um, you know, energy healing can be really, really powerful, right? I'm not trying to convince anybody else. Um, so that's why we, we're trying to keep it small, you know, keep it small. And there's only so much inventory you can have at any one time. Cause we literally have to physically make these ourselves. Right. And, and just be able to, you know, deliver that once a month. And I think that's going to work well. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this week's spiritual medicine digest. Thank you so much for joining me. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, hit the subscribe and like if you like this video and feel free to share to anyone that uh, you feel is a like-minded soul. Bless you and lots of love to you. Until next time, bye for now.